Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Speed here and today I got an absolutely dope build for you guys that you can run in the mid lane, off lane, or safe lane. I'm going to be showing it to you from the perspective of the off lane here today because that's the role I play, but it is a mixed variant gyro build. Gyro currently is one of my favorite heroes to play and there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, he's a very, very good laner. This hero inherently has very little bad matchups. The reason for that is homing missile is one of the best laning abilities in Dota. Flat cannon is also just insane if you want to go that route. And rocket barrage when targets get isolated is one of the highest DPS spells in all of Dota, at least in the early game. On top of that, his shard is fantastic. It's actually one of the shards where I originally read it, thought it was cheesy and trash. And when I actually played it, I'm like, okay, this does a lot of damage. Essentially, the build that we're going to be playing around is a maxed rocket barrage that allows you to skirmish in the early game, and then transitioning into the mid game, you're going to be somewhat of a tank, you're going to have around 2000 HP, you eventually go BKB, but you go E-Blade, Shard, and you absolutely eviscerate people with magic damage and a mix of physical because E-Blade gives you quite a bit of damage with flak. By the way, guys, if you want to become absolutely broken, well, what you need to do is sign up to the Game Leap website down below right now. The reason why you should do that is because every single day we post a new video there. Content that you simply just will never get on YouTube, we post every single day to the website. It's really top tier stuff. I'm very proud of what I make over there. We also have other creators, many of my great friends who are top tier Dota players creating guides about different heroes, different roles, different items, skill builds, talent builds, everything you need to know to get to the next rank. So if you feel a little bit lost, you're a little bit stuck, click the link down below. I'll see you guys there. And now let's get into the video. All right, so when it comes to the laning stage, there's a few different item builds you can go. In this lane, I decided to go for a three branch, Quelling Blade, Tango and Stick build. Honestly, I think I have a better build now. What I've been going in my last few games is Circlet, two branches, Quelling Blade, Tangos, and a Fairy Fire. Basically, you want to max out on your possible damage because Gyro has very, very poor base damage. And so you kind of need this Quelling Blade and stats to make sure you can actually get last hits. It's very important. And then after that, I like to build the Circlet that I start with into Urn. In this game, I went Wraith Ban, which wasn't bad, but personally, I love the Urn because it gives the meta regen you desperately need. Gyro with the build I'm showing you inherently is going to have a lot of HP regen issues. Urn obviously can greatly help with that. And the item is just a great kill item on a hero that's constantly active and getting in people's faces. On top of that, you're going to see First Blood come out here. Just keep in mind, if a support at any point in time crosses past the tree line, you should basically go on them. It's going to be a free kill almost every single time, as you see. The great thing about Missile is if the opponent doesn't back down when it's chasing them, well, they're just going to tank a Missile to the face and get auto-attacked. But if they run away, your position 4 can just chase them and auto-attack them the entire time, and it's super valuable in the laning stage. Now, throughout the laning stage, your main spike is Rocket Barrage level 2. It doesn't double in damage, but it's pretty close to it, and it doesn't go up in mana, so this ability scales extremely well. And you'll see in this clip here what I'm talking about. Spectre gets a little bit greedy, I hit level 3, and you'll see that maybe it was a bit of a mistake on his part to tank a full rocket barrage. It unironically does almost a third of his HP. Actually, it was like a bit above a third of his HP. And yeah, that's kind of the main gist of Gyrocopter. Also keep in mind he has some of the best attack speed in the game. So there's some laning tricks where basically you can auto attack denies twice. Essentially, like instead of trying to deny 50-50, a lot of the time, if a range creep is two hits away from being in deny range, I'll just hit it twice. But yeah, in this clip here, Spectre, he goes for the range creep again, and uh, yeah, he just dies. And this is going to happen a lot in your pubs. Essentially, just bait the range creep, and when they go for it, kill them, and you're going to be golden. Now, at level 4, I always like to take Flak. Honestly, the second point in homing missile, it's not bad. It actually goes up uh, by 75 damage, which is significant. But the extra point in flak just lets you clear waves very effectively without having to use rocket barrage early game. And so it's really, really nice for just occasionally farming a large camp and a small camp together and pushing in the creep waves. Honestly, I've even seen Moo play gyro offlane, funny enough, <laughs> in a DPC match, a Div 1 DPC match, and he took two points in Flak in the early game and didn't go Baraka Barrage. Personally, I'm not a fan of that build. 
I like having this maxed out as soon as possible so I can skirmish and even farm with it. It's a really good farming ability, Rocket Barrage. But yeah, you just keep that in mind. Flak is really good in the lane. So if you think Rocket Barrage is bad, maybe you're playing against like a lone druid and, and you know, it's just not going to do as much to the hero, then you can go for something like Flak instead. Either way, <laughs> oh man, it's just so fun. Dude, it's so fun to run people down as Gyro. You can see another thing you want to do anytime you're trying to kill someone, you want to shove the wave as fast as possible because when you shove the wave as fast as possible, that's when you're going to get the most value out of Rocket Barrage, which is also why taking the value point in Flak is key. Because when you take Flak, you'll see in this clip here, I want to dive this guy. And this could apply to any situation. The creep wave could be here, here, under his tower, doesn't matter. If you Flak down the wave, you got to secure the range creep, but I Flak down the wave, and now I have this entire wave to tank for me. And Gyrocopter is very similar to Clockwork. When you're diving a tower, you don't have to auto attack. You just click your nuke and it does a ton of damage. And as a result, you don't aggro the tower. And what do you know? They just die. It's a lot of damage. That's a lot, a lot of damage. I really wish I bought her. It would have been so good. I'm glad I adapted. Honestly, in the early game, what I generally recommend you do is you play for your own farm. Fighting is great, but do keep in mind you have to generally get in melee range to actually have effectiveness in fights. And so the main game plan you guys should follow is stay in your lane for basically as long as possible until the enemy dives a tower or let's say your team is losing the game or has like weird lanes. For instance, my mid laner was struggling a bit this game. And as a result, I kind of roamed with my Skywrath. Even here, you can see I smoked up with my Skywrath and we're going to kill off this Marana. And it's just a nice play to open up the map, kind of take some pressure off my team. Obviously get a little bit of gold for myself too, that's nice and all, but immediately after we get that kill, I'm back to farming. And you can see Gyrocopter farms extremely quickly, right? As I click my Rocket Barrage in a second here on Intreds, you just shred camps. Like really, it's it's one of those heroes that is, is just really good at farming. Also, take a look at this clip here. This was one of the one of the things that kind of like solidified in my mind that, hey, Gyro offlane is super legit. Like this is not some meme. Like I, I know people think when I when I make these videos, they're like, it's clickbait, it's clickbait. Like, no, like I, this is my main account, guys. You think I'm like, I just picked shit. I'm ranked 112. You think I'm just griefing, right? I'm not griefing on my main account. I'm not, <laughs> I like, I pick this stuff because I think it's good and because I want to have fun, right? It's always both. And hopefully you guys feel like can feel the same way when you try this out. But even here, look, I get ganked. I get pango rolled on and gripped and haunted on. Look, I almost live. I get off Rocket and Rocket Barrage. If I had mana, I could ultied as well. You know, like, obviously I end up dying, but they had to burn two ultis, to, three technically ultis to kill me, and I still kind of lived. Well, you know, I still lived through the burst, which was just like crazy to me. Now in this game, I went Atos. Honestly, there's definitely different builds you can go. I honestly think going BKB second item is like super legit. At the end of the day, you kind of have to run in with Rocket Barrage. So if you don't go BKB at some point or another, it, it can make the game really hard. But in this game, we have literally zero stuns, which can sort of be a problem of picking Gyro offlane. I mean, you have homing missile, but we don't even have like a support stun. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'll buy an Atos, you know, and it actually ends up being really good. You'll see it in a second here. It catches the enemy off guard because this guy's positioning. You can see this OD, like this guy's high Mamar, trust me, right? So, okay, he's immortal. So he's positioning relative to the cast ranges of the enemy spells. Like high Mamar players do that. They position relative to the cast range of spells. So he knows that generally he's safe being here, but I have an Atos. So like this basically buys enough time for my team to get on top of him. And now he's just dead. So yeah, it's just huge. Like Atos comes out, our lack of catch just is great. You know, I mean, it goes away. And on top of that, the reason why the item's nice as well is it gives you a good mana pool. It makes you tanky, right? Atos as a stat item gives 24 int, which is a ton of mana, gives a bit of agi and a bit of strength. Like, it's just a good gyro item, and it also lets you close the gap for Rocket Barrage. So, honestly, as a second item, I ended up buying it my next game as well, and it felt great both games. I actually think it's super legit, especially because you're offlane and you don't really have a stun. I mean, you do, it's just a different type of stun. Now, in this next clip, you're going to see the power of the shard to come into play. If you don't know what the shard does, basically it fires a Rocket Barrage from the homing missile when you place it down. So the gist is, you just want to place homing missile on the first person you see when you go on them. And you'll see in this clip here, the Pango is going to get amped up by the Skywrath, right? The Ancient Seal is going to come out and look at this damage. Pretty insane, right? This guy just gets like fold to nothing. I mean, ridiculous amounts of damage. Like it, it actually shreds people. And so if you can have a hero on your team like Pugner or Skywrath, that's obviously nice. I also highly recommend, honestly, Veil is quite nice as an item. I considered buying that in a few games. The only problem is it doesn't like make you too tanky early on, which I don't love. 
but like the amount of damage this shard does even without spell amp is insane all right now you're gonna see a display of the true power of the build the true power of the build is when you get your e-blade your shard i also have grove bow to, to reduce their magical resistance and most importantly your level 20 talent is plus 16 rocket barrage which is wildly significant um it's nearly a not a doubling but it's like relatively close to a doubling of damage on rocket barrage and you have to keep in mind that's way more than double because homing missile is firing it as well and so <laughs> this od watch this od's hp guys i'm gonna play this fight in normal speed not sped up right so all right let's play this in normal speed so in this fight here i get gone on this od i'm like oh shoot abaddon come help me right but look at this he goes on me he doesn't want to pop bkb look at his hp that's just me <laughs> he's like oh my god i have to bkb like that's insane Tell me that's not insane. Tell me you don't look at this. You're like, what the? That is not what I expected, right? Tell me this is not insane. That's just homing missile, rocket barrage, amped. That's it. And I end up dying because I don't have a BKB, which is why I queued up BKB. But I nearly solo kill their mid. And yeah, like I'm having a good game. I'm actually quite farmed. But like this is pretty normal because you're good at fighting. You farm fast. Like you're going to be high net worth most games. And like, honestly, I think if I like don't have to go Atos and I can go BKB, I just own them. Now, keep in mind in team fights, it's relatively important to kite out BKBs. Essentially, when fights break out, you want to be a little bit patient and use flat cannons. So I actually think taking both the flat cannon talents is good. Like I even have been tempted to not take 200 health at level 10, only because like I still like to buy treads. I still have a Falcon Blade. I go E-Blade like I'm hitting for 200 damage at this point in the game. Like that's super significant. If you're spreading out eight, you know, 200 damage, times eight flat cannons onto five heroes. I mean, that's a crazy amount of damage, right? So I actually think going the flat talents is better like, on average. Um, the 200 health is, it depends on the game, right? If you're fighting a lot of 200 health, is probably just better though, or the game. Either way, you know, I want to use my flak until like BKBs are kind of used if possible. So, you know, spells get kited out, BKBs get used, and then look at the damage here. This is where things go crazy. Homing missile comes up, man up, drop the homing missile. E-Blade combo and oh my god. <laughs> like look at this guy, dude. Look at this guy. Look at this Bane's HP, dude. He has no chance. I was even considering buying Blink at this point of the game, but look at this, look at this Bane. Boom. E-Blade does a third. Homing missile is just shredding him in the OD. <laughs> Tell me this isn't good. Alright. There's no way. Like, I don't still, still people in the YouTube, YouTube comments just want to be like, this is why I'm gonna lose my pub speed. I'm a troll. I live under a rock. Nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're inspired to go grief some, I mean, win some pubs and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And that's all. But remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below and I'm out. Peace.